Keep in mind, this video series takes place in Nashville, Tennessee, around Nashville. And if you're not familiar with the culture of Nashville, then probably what you think of Nashville is, it is, you know, country music. That's where they do all those country music award shows. This is where country music was born. Country music, it's Nashville. Well, once you actually get here, one of the things you quickly learn about Nashville is it's a hipster town. It totally is a hipster town here. Uh, and they're everywhere. And, you know, it could be said that with my new hairstyle here, well, that's in the shade. Let me walk over here. I know that you've watched my other videos on this already, showing my new hairstyle, but with this new hairstyle, I mean, it's, we've got some hipsterness going on. Let me hold it this way. We've definitely got hit some hipsterness going on because of this right here. I mean, we've got that obvious, undeniable number three to number four, then this to three inches. And fully embracing my hair, uh, the line, that's a Norwood three we've got going on. And this is the one of the thinnest parts of my hair right here, which is just right there out in the open. And I'm just thinking, well, if it's three inches, even though I'm combing it straight up, and I've made a video saying how not to spike my hair, but with it being uh, longer, I, th I mean, this is how I look to most people. Now, I walked into work today, and everyone immediately says, man, nice haircut. So, getting, I mean, almost perfect reviews. Actually, everyone in person has said they liked it. Maybe a few people in the comments said they liked it better the other way. But this is, this is working for me, and, uh, but this is, this is uh, what's called East Nashville. East Nashville is the part of Nashville where all the hipsterness really resonates. And if you want to see hipsters in Nashville, you go to the to the to East Nashville. So this is what East Nashville looks like. And you'll also see shoes like this too. So now I'm embracing my East Nashvilleness with this hairstyle. And what's gonna be interesting is will I continue to embrace this? Uh, oh, my, what was it, a month? A month from now, when it's time for another haircut, will I get this done again? Will I get it cut shorter? Because one thing I was wondering is, will I really feel like keeping up the uh, this part? Because I have to, you know, have enough product to hold it over to keep it on there. So, one of the ways I'm going to help figure that out because I already know this hairstyle works for me. It looks good on me. I can still have a Norwood three and it work, even if my hair is a little bit thinner here than the very back. People aren't noticing that. They're not. They're just noticing cool hairstyle. And I really think a definition of, of why this is cool is that definite contrast. Someone mentioned in one of the comments that uh, whoever cut my hair didn't do a good enough job fading it. That's the whole point, though. I wanted this hairstyle. I didn't want to, for it to gradually go down in different tiers. I wanted pretty much an obvious, you know, how, like, that trendy thing uh, that some, like, rock girl... Like Avril Lavigne, you know, there's people like that where they shave the side of their head and it's like to be edgy as a girl. I wanted, I wanted kind of the guy version of that. Uh, but of course, I wanted it to be the, you know, the same on each side. But when it's this long, that's how it's going to be. I wanted that edge. I wanted to see if I could rock that. And, you know, my, my 36th birthday is coming up in a few days. And for me, it was somehow symbolic. Like, okay, I want to... I don't care about the number of... of years I've lived as far as that's not the focus the focus is I can still be relevant and cool and I can still rock this and make it happen I didn't know for sure if I could but I was willing to take that challenge and so far in these past several days it's paid off that yeah I can do this this works for me and I'm glad I took that gamble and did this so um, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video by saying this that in the making of this video I've realized that a good a good video to make after this if it doesn't rain I'm planning on running uh, I run like two miles during my lunch breaks every couple of days I'm wondering how the pomade's going to hold up after I run two miles and you know sweat and stuff because see that's something something I like about this hairstyle is that it just stays in place yeah I invest now three or four minutes in fixing my hair in the morning but then that's it whereas before I'd invested 30 seconds but then it would be moving all the time and then I'd be looking in the mirror I don't have to do that it looks the same and by the way this is Murray's pomade I'm using again today even though I love the other one I've, I've made the video comparing the two ultimately for this hairstyle as long as my hair is I think it's going to require Murray but I wonder how Murray's is going to hold up 
in the run. So the next video I guess I'll do, as long as it doesn't rain, I will uh, do that video. So I think this is this is cool. You know, we got the haircut. People like it. But there's, there's a lot of uh, content to come out of this and to explore this because I've never had my hair like this. I've never had it so short on the sides and so long on the top. So this is definitely a brand new experience for me. So I want to explore it. And like I said, a month from now I may get it cut shorter so there won't be all this. But I want to explore this as much as possible. This is ultimately the East Nashville uh, style. And by the way, I know that I don't wear glasses in most videos, but I'm at work and actually usually I actually have to have them on for the computer and for driving, but we're just walking around I don't need them. So that only adds to the uh, East Nashville hipster look. So I'm turning 36, I'm embracing it, I'm not in denial, but you can still be cool and be almost 36. And I am here to prove that.